health care professional, uh, Dr. Grant Morrow, uh, here to provide comments on the bill. Thank you and good morning. Uh, as you heard, my name is Grant Morrow. I've been a pediatrician, I've been practiced and uh, done probably most of my uh, time in research uh, for the last 55 years. And uh, I think it's very obvious, but uh, every family, when they come in for a medical problem, no matter how, you know, mild or serious it is, wants to know they get the right medical care, the right information, and uh, uh, they can ask the questions and get the, and not be uh, told that they aren't allowed to answer those questions. And um, physicians, on the other side, have to rely on scientific facts and evidence-based practices. Another evidence-based practices is when uh, researchers record what actually happens in patients for an you know, extended period of time so they know what works and what doesn't work. And uh, they also follow clinical guidelines that organizations like the American Academy of Pediatrics uh, said Disease Act should be handled in the following way, and uh, as well as published re as well as the uh, published research studies that detail the latest proven standards of care. And I think to have the Ohio legislature overturn these standards makes no sense whatsoever. Many doctors in uh, Ohio have had their patient-doctor relationship inter interfered with restrictions that were put there by by politicians and uh, healthcare professionals have been asked to deviate from these protocols and guidelines that shape evidence-based medical, as I mentioned before. And uh, these laws are put in by politicians, not doctors. And I, my question is, how are doctors? How can they provide care that is safe, individualized, and medically appropriate if we're told? To ignore our ethical and established medical standards. These laws tell doctors they're in a room with a patient, he has to ignore what he knows is the right thing to do in many cases. The, uh, the Doctor Patient Relationship Protection Act would be able to protect physicians and other health care providers who develop, who would deliver science scientific and evidence-based standards of care guarantee that uh, these providers will not be forced into choosing between the health of their uh, patients and the repercussions of the law. Women's health restriction that uh, were made in last year's budget substitute etiology for medical judgment allow politicians to play doctor with women's health. And uh, they often do this without any research or practical experiences of what is best for the patient. A physician uh, must talk to families about the options that are available to them and uh, you know, help the family make the choice. We don't, uh, we, we shouldn't and we don't uh, insert our personal views or say, hey, here's what I think you ought to do or here's what I'd do if I were you. Uh, and. Uh, we need to get the, the politics and the judgment, shaming and coercion out of health decisions. It's hard to believe that uh, this has happened in the state of Ohio in, in this year. It's uh, quite uh, dis discouraging. You know, there, there uh, just as an example, there is one state where, as a pediatrician, you know, one of the things that uh, has been shown to be a real problem is to, um, to gun safety in the home. And, uh, this, uh, in this state that did this, the, uh, the pediatrician is not allowed to talk about gun safety or they will lose their license. In another state, the uh, uh, legislature has put in, put in a bill, and I don't know whether it's in the law yet, but uh, they say that if a physician talks about family planning and birth control, the physician will be uh, uh, guilty of a, of a Category 4 felony, have a jail term up to 12 years, and be fined $750,000. And I'll just 
make a comment on House Bill 200 here in the state of Ohio that would require, require physicians to tell abortion patients that there is a link between abortion and breast cancer. And it's completely medic medically inaccurate. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists and the American Cancer Society have said this is, there's no evidence that this is true. This is going to be where this is a mandatory thing. Um, 